So I decided today that I wanted to do some maintenance on my Amazon milk frog enclosure. I just got finished and I'm gonna show you what my final product looks like today. I loved making this cabinet so much that I went back to Ikea to buy another one and to my surprise, all of them were sold out, which I was really disappointed with. I went to Facebook Marketplace. I found an extra one. She's right down the street, so we might go pick it up today. But I wanted to show you what I did with last month's build because I didn't record making any of it. So here is my newly updated one. This cabinet, so as they had, is what I made for my Amazon tree frogs. It's like a 70 to 90 gallon enclosure and it's housing three frogs so they're living like really really well they have a food system in there i miss it every day they have a uvb bulb although i don't think that i think it's like a myth that frogs need it but either way they have it so i've just been investing in plants that i know are super easy to take care of that way i can give all my focus to my animal which is the thing that i love the most I, in my relationship with my partner, my partner is the plant person and I'm the animal person. So he takes care of all the house plants. It used to be the other way around. I used to do it all. But now after um, <clears throat> after 2020, we're just going to say after 2020, Kadeem's gotten much more into taking care of all the house plants. And I've, been real, I've always been into taking care of my animals. So the good thing that we got yesterday at ikea was we got the bags of leka they had those in stock they're almost always sold out these are the bags of leka i'm talking about and i also want to set up a bioactive enclosure in the chameleons thing so we're just going to do all that today um i just went and i got some like really easy plants that will do well with like low maintenance so i got some dracenas and some pothos and i also got like a bunch of different varieties this is from my local plant store and let me just show you all three different varieties of dracenas i got so here are all three different varieties all different sizes So I'm just doing a little bit of maintenance on this tank because one of the Dracenas had died up here here. So I'm gonna, I like the way that the vines of this uh, philodendron are coming in. So I'm going to be adding in a golden pothos over here so we can get more vines for them to kind of climb and hide in. But all of my frogs are doing really well. Um, there's one there, one down there and one hiding in a snake plant and all three of them have this entire space to climb in. They really, because they're nocturnal, they're only out at night, which it's always a pleasure to see them at night, but the entire top has, this, I modified it and added in a screen and this entire false bottom is bioactive as well. So really exciting stuff. I'm gonna go unpot this outside because I don't want to get dirt all over the place like I'm already doing. So yeah, I'm gonna go unpot this and I'll be right back. All right, I think that personally looks so much better. So I'm going to mist it a little bit more and I think that'll be it. I just replaced the water, but I really just want to have full on bioactive customizable enclosures. I think that looks incredible. That pothos will continue to grow in. And I'm just going to fill up the food dishes later today, and I think we'll be ready to go. I'm now spraying with dechlorinated water. And I like to get in and really mist and get the roots wet of all the plants that I just planted. 